and now they journey down to Carl Junction to play Carl Junction in the state semifinals. We pick up action now with the Wildcats on defense. Situation for the Wildcats defense. Beans and Coke are the running back. Thomas brings him to the line. Long count. They try to ball the Wildcats off. They want to throw a quick pass. Oh, he scored in the first half of play, but the Wildcats came out ready to play as far as the second half was concerned. Kelly brings him up to the line. They shift into the split backfield. They option the right side. The pitch comes to Selberg. Good hole as he cuts it back to the middle. Bumps into his own man. Picks up the first down plus some more as he gets all the way to the 45-yard line. And the clock continues to run. The Wildcats with a good ball control ground game here in the third period. They operate again from the split backfield. Now Kelly wants to throw. Under pressure, fires the right side complete. Chevalier again near the two yard line. The ball is going to tie in, replacing Chevalier. They'll give him a break. He made an excellent catch on that ball and took quite a hit. Cats will operate from the eye. Wide receivers to both sides. They get the handoff just barely to Tony Mulder. He's keeping the sober. He keeps his feet driving. He keeps that good yardage. Now it was Tony Mulder. Excuse me. Charles Junction had his hands around Kelly's hand, uh, ankles before he had a chance to hand off the football. But it was a good pickup by Tony of about eight yards. We'll make it second down and two. Inside the five yard line. The Wildcats threatening with three minutes left to play in the third quarter. They overshift the right side. They try the right side with Kobe, cuts it to the middle, down close. Too close to the first down. The and see exactly where it is. But it will be a first down, a first down for the Wildcats. All these things are all the way down to the one yard line. And they make it across the road. had another opportunity later in the second half of play. They're leading by a score of seven to nothing. We pick up the action with the Wildcats. Good ground control game by the Wildcats. First and ten from the 48. Donahoe on the quick out to Greenwell. He's got it in some running room. Down the left side, he's got the first down. Clock continues to run. Clark on the Wildcats side right now as they rock it to run on down very quickly. From the eye, they give to Mulvey. He cuts it to the middle, picks up yardage as he cuts back. And another good game. Big third down call here for the Wildcats as they would like to keep possession of this football. They'll operate from the eye. They option the right side to pitch to Mulvey. Cuts it back to the inside. Good balance as he gets down inside the 20 to the 16-yard line, and that should be enough for the first down. And Tony Mulvey has just played one of the most outstanding football games today, and we've said it every week. He's just getting... The 
Wildcats face with a second down and 10 from the 16-yard line. They'll operate from the eye and give them all the off the right side, catch it back to the middle, and was just one man short of taking it into the end zone. Another great effort by Tony Mulvey. Over O'Hara, in class for a action. Tony picked up the first down, though. It's first and goal from the five for the Wildcats. 6-20 remaining in the game. Again, they go over shifted to the right side. They give to Moby off the right side. Fires his way down. Touchdown! Remaining. The Cats, they across the way. Come along. Beautiful. And now the try for the extra point. Tony deserved that touchdown all the way. He did the work in the drive. Attempt is underway. The ball is up and good. The Wildcats went on to win this ball game by a score of 14 to nothing and qualify for the state championship football game.